wine weirdos. Christopher. Let's check out the 2011 Alta Kalina GSM. This is their estate GSM. Yes, and we're big fans of Alta Kalina. Mm -hmm. We're talking a $42 wine coming in at around 15% alcohol by volume. 220 cases produced. Beautiful uh, in the glass. Absolutely. What's neon, it doing on the nose? Neon ruby in the glass. Yeah. Ooh, kind of a giving nose. Uh, I'm getting citrus, like citrus blossom, blossom and zest right off the aromatics with strawberry compote, mm. black cherry, the, mm. the grenache is really singing on the nose, pepper following that up, and I'm getting some of that high elevation calciferous soil on the aromatics. What's it doing on the palate? I'm remembering why I love this in the tasting room. We did just pop and pour it and they, they requested to can. I think it does benefit from that because it's a little tight right now. Mm -hmm. but. The Grenache is really singing, and the Mavet is just really bringing a lot of nice grip and sort of that dark mouth coating thing that's going on. Syrah's mm -hmm. rounding it out. This is really, really well balanced. I love Bob Tillman's hand. Yeah. Um, and this is just, again, another hit from Alta Kalina for me. 11 Vintage is is actually showing pretty good right now. I think this is actually pretty serviceable just as is. Yeah, and the 11 Vintage was a difficult one. And it shows the Tillman family has just got an exquisite hand and just yeah. a science and approach. Mm -hmm. And what is bowling me over with this is it's 15 alcohol. Yeah. It's not oh, showing it at all oh, to not me. at all. It's macerated raspberry and coffee from me on the palate, which is just stunning. I'm yeah. loving it, even though, despite the tightness and everything. Mm -hmm. Beautiful wine. Definitely a coffee lover's wine and mm -hmm. some mocha elements as well. Mm -hmm. Great stuff from Alta Kalina. We'll be back with more on Wine Weirdos. Cheers. Cheers.